I'm going to film today. Let's see, it's uh, August 1st, a Wednesday. I'm going to film this under this fig tree where I put what I picked this morning and uh, tell you a few little gardening tips about this. Uh, here's the uh, 4th of July salad tomatoes. There's a bag of cherry tomatoes. A few in this bag of better boys. I've got this uh, crate of better boys, that of better boys, that of better boys, that of cherries, that's a cherries, and four squash. Now a few garden tips. You have a cuke like that on your vines, just pick it. It's pretty much done. It's not gonna get like that. Here's another one. Just pick it because you'll miss it. And they're hard to find anyway when they're big. And when it gets real dry and has seeds in it, your plant will shut down. On these tomatoes, you will notice that some of them are splitting open. We had a half inch of rain last night. And it has stressed the skins on them. See that one split? There's a whole bunch of them split. And the only thing you can do with those is cook them now and freeze them or can them after you cook them. Now one like that might ripen up. It's almost ripe enough to just eat as it is, but you're gonna have to eat these pretty quick because they'll go bad. If you have a tomato that is, uh, we've got a couple spots on the bottom of that one. If you have a tomato that's whole and that is a dried up little split, it'll keep a while. But an open cut like that, an open space like that is where everything can get in there and ruin that tomato. So you really have to use the ones that are split quickly. And I picked a lot of them that aren't totally ripe because I didn't want them to go bad on squash you can damage your plants sometimes breaking them off a lot of times they'll break off but sometimes they'll uh, they can pull the root loose from the ground I always use these to cut them off with it just makes it easier and the salad tomatoes have, have split right much also and the cherries will split I didn't have too many of this morning I ate about a dozen of them and I threw a, a bunch of others up under this uh, fig tree and uh, the problem with uh, handling these tomatoes you might have a tomato here that doesn't have a split on it but just the sheer fact of picking it will make it split the skin especially on cherry tomatoes and small tomatoes like salads you have to be really careful when you take one off when you've had uh, more rain than they're used to. Now yesterday my son was down there and asked me if there's anything he could do and I said yeah water my three rows of tomato plants and uh, run the hose on the two sacrificial ones and he did that and then we had a half inch rain last night and that was more than these tomatoes could take. I sort of wish I hadn't told him to water but if I had we wouldn't have got any rain and then I might have plants drying up. But anyway, that's about as long-winded as I need to be on these uh, picking and gardening tips. Thank you for watching.